Ambassador Ferent Samoji, thanks for joining us on Don't Lecture Me. Thank you. The first question I want to ask you is, you recently met with U.S. officials to sign the, uh, a memorandum of understanding about the, uh, I guess, the visa waiver program. Why is that important? It is important because, uh, on one hand, after several decades of Hungary uh, being a close country in practical terms, Hungarians highly appreciate the chance to go and visit other countries, especially countries we are very close for different re uh, reasons. And uh, unfortunately, unlike uh, the old European countries, uh, we could not have the visa waiver privileges. And it is in this regard that we uh, really appreciate this chance. This is not yet uh, a decision. Hungarians cannot still come uh, without a visa. But if everything goes well, and we have uh, all the assurance there that it will goes well, it will go there. Uh, by the end of this year, we hope we will be part of this program. And that would um, further give an impetus to the happily existing bilateral relations between our two nations. Okay, so how does that sort of re reflect the relationship between the United States and Hungary? Uh, you know, it is partly an emotional thing because uh, we, as a citizens of a small country, would like to know much more about the world. And it takes traveling. And uh, with the possibility for Hungarians to come, there is no restriction back at home. There are many people who can afford to visit faraway countries. So it is an obvious choice to come here to the United States to experience where we have many Hungarians, many friends, cooperating partners. So it was a kind of anachronism given the fact that we are uh, cooperative partners in many sense, business, uh, politics, uh, uh, NATO functions in Afghanistan, joint efforts uh, in democratization of Cuba. It kind of a contradiction that with that background, Hungarians do not have the same potentials to come here to see our American friends, our relatives, but we hope um, that will happen and that would add uh, to this uh, happily existing relationship. Hungary isn't necessarily a country that here in the United States the average American citizen hears about on a day-to-day -day basis. What's something you would like uh, just everyday Americans to know about Hungary that they may not know? Hungary, uh, compared to her size, is a rather active player in international activities, yes. be it sports, economy, uh, culture, by the way, uh, next year we will organize uh, a Hungarian cultural season in the United States to present the, the best pieces of uh, Hungarian uh, culture. Again, something which I'm 100% sure will bring our two nations uh, even closer. You're relatively new to your position as ambassador, but you've done so many different things with the Hungarian government. How is your new position different? You know, uh, this is uh, a different uh, situation because that is the first time when I am having a position of a real bilateral classical ambassador, uh, which does not mean that this is the first important task I had because as you referred to, uh, I had many, many challenging task uh, in our uh, brief history, negotiating Soviet troops withdrawal from Hungary, being part of uh, dissolution of the Warsaw Treaty, negotiating uh, treaties with our neighbors, negotiating uh, Hungary's EU and NATO accession. So uh, there is a broad basis on which I could rely on when I came back to the United States. Came back meaning that I had been here earlier when I was for four years the deputy uh, permanent representative of Hungary to the United Nations in New York. And uh, given the close relationship between our two countries, given the fact that uh, we are part of the uh, same uh, alliance, uh, representing uh, same values and principles, but there is one very important uh, human touch of the whole issue. Uh, when I came back, there was a lot of people I remembered as good friends. And the good news was that it was not only me remembering them, but they also remembered 
uh, the times, what uh, we spent together, we worked together. So that was a very good point of departure on which I started something what I really enjoy. Throughout your professional career, you've worked your entire 40 years in foreign affairs pretty much. If you had not gotten into that or into foreign or into government, what would you have been doing with your life? No, this is not only a theoretical question because uh, uh, f though I served in uh, governments of different color in Hungary, but there were uh, two relatively uh, short periods when I was out of the diplomatic service. But I was working on international relations on two points. A, in, in two projects, are, um, played an important role in bringing together uh, universities of uh, different countries, Hungarian University with the British University and Hungarian with an American uh, university. And the, the other uh, phase where I was out of the uh, diplomatic service uh, when I worked in uh, telecom. There also was a kind of uh, American accent because uh, at that time the Hungarian Telecom was partly owned by an American company, but uh, my major task was to help that uh, multinational company of Hungary to expand and I was uh, um, playing a role in the acquisition of the Macedonian uh, telecom. So though it was not in the uh, diplomatic uh, environment, but uh, the work I did was very close to what I'm doing yes. at present. All right. Well, Ambassador Samoji, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much.